Hello Capricorns and welcome to your April 2024 reading. So I meditated on your energy and what Spirit wanted to talk to you about. The first card is King of Pentacles. There you are. Uh, so we're talking about your capacity to find solutions, master this world of matter, um, being able to being ruled by Venus, being able to ground and generate abundance, um, every aspect of uh, pleasure. Um, you know, she rules love and value and worth, bringing this into the concrete. All right. So there you are. The second card is the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So that can be two things. That can be you releasing old fears, old, uh, you know, wanting to hold on to control and things like that, or having that active on an unconscious level. But whatever it is, at the end, uh, you're kind of understanding something here. So Ace of Sword. Under our King of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Wands and the Five of Wands. Now we're entering, you know, airy season. Uh, fire is going to be prominent. So how do I deal with fire? We're in spring here, airy. So imagine this huge fire coming up. How am I managing it? And fire can come up in your life in passion, in just your physical energy, just the, the forward movement of whatever you want to bring forward. Here we have a lot of energy being utilized to protect yourself. And here we have a leftover five of ones. So maybe this is happening because of an unconscious uh, you know, conflict inside of you the five of wands if he would be upright uh, not upright but if he wouldn't be chaotic and that's why we have like adolescence here it's like unmatured fire all the wants and the needs they are going all over the place if they would be matured they would create five they would create a pentacle made of wood made of fire so that would be willpower over matter or, you know, controlling matter with one's willpower. But when it's all over the place, like the five of ones, uh, this cannot happen. So we're protecting ourselves and we don't seem like we can have our willpower over what is happening here. Page of sword in reverse under that. Something I need to understand something I'm not grasping or I'm actually not grasping it right and I have it in my hand so under it might be your vision on security because this is trying to be safe from the ones of life uh, this is trying to be safe from the possible losses of matter But when true security is when we're able to be in the flow, where there's no empty space. So we cannot lose unless we block it by fear. So maybe your vision of security will change. Um, under the Four of uh, Pentacle, I have the Wheel of Fortune on the side with the King of Wands and the Knight of Sword in Rivers. So that little thing here that we need to understand that maybe is a, not really a truth of ours. Maybe it's a lie of ours. When it's the Knight of Sword in Rivers, it's like uh, it's going to become more intense. And it's all about King of Wands, mastering your fire, mastering your courage, your, yeah, I'll go for it. That's the King of Wands. I have the courage to go for it. But if I'm confronted with a certain lie of mine, 
of fear of loss or fear of being attacked, of, you know, not being supported or in the floor, or whatever, as strong as my fire to move forward, as strong the resistance will be because of that fear. And this will affect your chariot right away. Okay. And the chariot is your soul. It's the soul that travels towards accomplishment, towards um, your ambition, guided by your aspiration, where the invisible and the visible Cancer Capricorn are, you know, aligned and promoting your soul towards the success. So for that, I need the fire. But if there's a belief somewhere, an unconscious belief that prevents it, it puts the will of fortune on pause. Under our ace of sword, because, ah, now the sword is going to be upright. What will that do? Pew, right away, get you out of your head and into the wands. And there you go. Bringing the energy the fire, you're going to be excited at the end of the month, you're going to surpass what was blocking you. So that's beautiful, a beautiful way. But you might feel the pressure first, and then it breaks because you understand something. Let's clarify this for you. I call upon the divine. I call upon the light. I call upon the Holy Spirit. Help me clarify this reading for Capricorns for the month of April 2024. April 2024. Okay, let's look at the King of Pentacles here. King of Pentacles for Capricorn. Woo, you came, you came back. Uh, let Just if we look at it, it's the Queen of Pentacles. Pull it out if this is what you want to... And, you know, it wouldn't be surprising if she's in reverse. Because if she would be upright, uh, there wouldn't be any uh, problems. But if she's in reverse, she can be in the fight or flight instead of, a, um, you know, instead of I know I have all that it takes and I'll be supported and all of that so I can go ahead and be uh, active in it. I have the Ace of Cup in reverse with the Seven of Pentacles. So you come in the month waiting for that cup, analyzing what has been happening until now, uh, maybe not being satisfied but there's this mise en question like you're questioning yourself uh, you know am i do i still love what i'm doing or um, is it all worth it or whatever and of course you would need that little cup there to water that dry garden let's look at the nine of ones Ooh, okay Seven of Swords, Ten of Pentacle in Reverse. Here's the Ace of Wands. So here's the Ace of Wands. You're coming in the month with that mm, passion, idea, spark. But your uh, beliefs betray you. Um... There's a part of you that thinks that maybe ultimately you'll get robbed or that you don't have what it takes. Because him, that, that's the effect, that disempowerment in front of something bigger than us. And we don't have the swords to fight it because they were robbed from us. And if that is your idea of it, especially because here, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, this is when we do not feel the security, the, 
the empire we've built. So there's that. Oh, I'm feeling disempowered. Let's look at the page of swords in reverse. There's a need of nurturing. There's a need of love and peace. Yeah, because that's... See, it puts you in your in your head, leftover eight of... It creates the conflict. Ace of sword in reverse. There's something that is not understood by your king of... Uh, your king of um, swords. And here I have the page of cup in reverse. Ace of cup, page of cup. There's something that hasn't been understood. Um, page of cup, ace of cup in reverse. Maybe something that has been perceived or understood as you not being able to get that ace of cup. Let's, let's see. Because it... You know, Ace of Cup can be all sorts of things. It's it's the vessel that holds your vibration. It's the part of you that is able to re to receive the vibration of peace, serenity, creativity, intuition, and all of that. So, love. Let's look at the four of ah. But this month, it's the divine timing for you. To actually say, you know what? There's the cup. Divine timing to follow your heart. Instead of believing that it's there's, it's not there for you. Let's look at that. Um, Wheel of Fortune on the side. Ooh. Okay. We have the repeater of, of our um, Four of Pentacle with... Nine of Sword, unconscious anxieties left because there are things that we haven't moved on from. Sagittarius had the same problem. Things that need to be mm, turned the page emotionally and mentally. Okay, that's why we have water and swords on the card. Because if not, there's leftover anxieties here. So it's time to deal with it, chariot, for so that you can have the success you should have. So that you can work the law of attraction. Like if you have, a, because this reminds me of the Sagittarius, but you're having it before them. They're having it at the end of the month and you're having it in the middle of the month. Um. See, it's important to clear the water so that you don't hang out, hang, you know, hang on to um, your old losses, sadnesses, and things like that. Because this is what blurs your fire, makes it go all over the place. What makes things um, bring anxiety and and fears whether they're conscious or unconscious and it will also affect directly your law of attraction queen of wands so it's like every season here will enhance this um so that you can understand it it's going to be the divine timing here and uh, that's sagittarius on top of it uh, but it's that capacity to see this the bigger picture and to um, purify the waters heal deeply and then ah the truth can be accessible it's not being burned by um, you know by the old stuff uh, I think that truth is gonna come when you're going to crumble how you've structured the way that you saw what is possible for you, where you're going, um, and all of that. You're getting it. And here, slowly, you are going to be able to follow your will. And you will not... Here I have the, 
the tower is going to help readjust your hermit. So your capacity to, I feel it, my gut feel it, feeling tells me, yes, do it, I'm doing it. But before that, it was all conflicted. Here, the hermit has a wand. The wand cannot be all over the place. And it's guided by his inner light. The mix between the feminine and the masculine. He's got a six-pointed star in that lamp. So he uses his wisdom. It's kind of the emperor in a way. He uses his wisdom in a balanced way. He's got the, the four elements because he's got the uh, masculine and the feminine one on top of the other working together masculine elements are wands and swords feminine are pentacle and cups one anchoring one uh, projecting and so this when they're aligned can guide the direction the wand uh, and we have that inner security of knowing that this is aligned so at the end of the month this is going to be a aha moment for you Sagittarius uh, Capricorn sorry I was looking at the at this guy uh, yeah it's gonna be a haha -ha moment all right okay so here night of pentacle page of wands we're moving forwards justice in a balanced way uh, and and maybe the the last full moon in uh, libra is going to be mm, understood more at the end of this month even though it's the full moon in Cancer, uh, in uh, Scorpio, uh, I think it's going to make things that need to be um, dealt with um, more obvious at the end of the month. So we finish with the full, with that Ace of Wands. Now our Knight of Swords is upright. So now it's going to be able to go and find what it wants to build, what it wants to grow, what it wants to create. So it's kind of a readjustment of your aspiration because uh, what made it blurry before, not you being able to tap into that uh, intuition, that yes inside that would give you that certitude. We need that inner certitude to have the courage to move forward. Uh, even when we don't know how it is. So we need to make sure that we don't believe that things will be unfair and that we will be betrayed. Because if not, we will not move forward. So how should we call this? Um, because, you know, it's not just moving forward here. It's releasing... Uh, or breaking uh, breaking a barrier. That's what you're going to do this month. And you're going to feel the pressure of the fire before. So expect that. <laughs> so on this, my beautiful Capricorns, I am sending you all my love and light. Thank you for watching, sharing, commenting. If you want a private reading, the description is below. You just, you know, go there very user friendly and all of that um thank you also for the ones of you gave donations it helps more than you think and on the new moon full moon i ask the divine to give you back in the shape and the way that is going to be the most beneficial for you for your best path on this namaste and i'll see you next month